I got a new uh, premium format in on Friday and I just unboxed them. Um, this is the Kylo Ren premium format from uh, Sideshow The Force Awakens and this is just the regular. Um, the edition size on this is 2000. The edition size on the exclusive is 1500 and it's on waitlist and I'm sure if he went on waitlist for it um, it would convert. So if you want the exclusive, which is just a hand switch out without that is not holding the saber and the saber that kind of goes on the belt but doesn't sound like it attaches very well, then you could probably get it if you go on waitlist. So I wasn't planning on getting this guy. Um, I was waiting for the Hot Toys quarter scale because I I really want a driver portrait. I think that's his last name. I think his name is Adam Driver or something. The guy who plays Kylo Ren. I wanted a uh, human portrait and so Hot Toys is doing a quarter scale so and they're doing the um, switch out human portrait as well. But uh, unfortunately I went to my local comic book shop and they had this guy there and I saw him and I just thought he looked awesome. So. Here he is, joining my collection. It wasn't planned. But uh, this guy has a little problem. He came with his helmet is broken, so... I have to email Sideshow, which I hate doing tomorrow, and beg for a replacement head. And they'll give me some lame, here, keep it, and here, have $30. But the problem with that is when you go to sell these things, if you ever have to, um, if anything's broken, you're going to lose a lot more than $30, so... I will be pushing for a replacement head which hopefully I'll get because it is actually broken. Um, so yeah here's a really quick look. Um, he is not an overly heavy piece. Um, he's kind of in between light and heavy so he's not really light but he's not heavy either so it's good enough weight for me. The fabric on him is really nice. It was weird when I was pulling this apart because it comes all bunched up in his legs. Um, it was making this weird sound like it's almost like the top layer is rubber and it was kind of making a rubber sound of pulling apart or whatever but um, yeah so it's all wires there's there's two layers of clothes you know there's a layer under there and then there's this top layer and it's all wired and there's four of these type things two in the front two in the back so I hate wires but they are nice because you can pose them into, you know, a style that you like. They're just, uh, the, the hood is wired as well. So I took just a little bit of time and posed it so that you could see some of the base and some of the leg. So I'm going to display them with the hood up, but you can display them with the hood down. I think I said the hood is wired as well, so um, there's this helmet. I don't know if you can see it well enough. I kind of screwed around with um, with the wire, so I don't really want to take it down. But uh, yeah, because like I said, I'm not a fan of screwing around with the wire. I'll have to fix that later. So the saber doesn't light up. That's another reason why I'm waiting for the hot toys or why I wanted to, because I want a light up saber. And I think I have their 12 inch, the hot toys 12 inch one of this guy, and his saber lights lights up. So. I think they really, I mean, they should have, they should have included a light up saber because if you collect Star Wars, then, you know, most of, I think the only other one I have um, that doesn't light up is, it's an old PF, it's, um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head now, it's some chick from, I think, the cartoons or something, anyway. Got the saber here. It is pretty cool, even though it doesn't light up. It's got like um, all this texturing to it. I'm hoping my phone will focus. It wants to focus on everything behind there. Um, yeah, it's got all this texturing to it and white. There's some white paint in there, or lighter paint anyway. It does look really cool and it is pretty big, but uh, I wish it lit up. They'll probably, well, I'm wondering if they'll do another one for the next movie um, that'll have like a light up and and 
the portrait because I kind of seem to have lost his helmet at the end of Force Awakens, so I don't know if he'll replace it or not. But the the paint on his helmet is really nice, like the chrome part actually looks chromed. I wonder if it is. It's it, it really looks good against the black. It looks really nice. Yeah, this is a really nice premium format, so if you're a Star Wars collector and or a dark side collector, which I would I can recommend it. It's it's really nice looking. It's a nice pose. Nice material. It's good quality. Um, it's unfortunate that mine came broken because I very rarely do I get things um, from them that come damaged, but anyway. Wish me luck in getting a replacement. Thanks for watching.